Select your character. Gruff, 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 gruff. I'm a dog. Gruff, gruff. He's not a dog. <laughs> that's not a dog. That's a mole. I'm going to oh. annihilate you now. No, it's an echidna. Oh my. Can I help? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, next up, next up on the chopping block is the rougher than the rest of them, tougher than leather uh, echidna himself. Knuckles. Okay. He doesn't go. chuckle. Not yet, anyway. Except he has at least twice until now. That's true. He has done. Like, maybe, he did, maybe he did the whole like. Ruff, ruff, ruff. <laughs> and that's also kept his... lap thing. No, that was him going gruff gruff because he's a dog. So, um, out of all of everyone's stories in this game, Knuckles actually takes place the earliest because uh, it all starts when the when the diabolical flying chicken flies straight to Angel Island. Argok. As far back as I can remember, Argok. I've been living here on this dark <laughs> island. From anything that could harm it. So, um, after all was said and done, and sorry through Knuckles, job. Knuckles went back to his age-old title to of being a Master forever. Emerald Guardian, spending his lonely days sleeping on its altar. The last of the echidnas. If anyone touches my ring pop, I'm gonna kill them. Well, that's kind of too bad. Oh, time to kill someone. Oh, somebody's gotta die. Uh, what if I licked it? I don't think you're allowed to lick oh. it either. <laughs> Rouge has tried that tactic before. It didn't work out so well for her. Wait, Jordy, are you insinuating we should lick the water thing? <laughs> no, we have to lick the emeralds uh -oh. back together because it got shattered. Yeah. Touch. What are you going to do, red guy? Punch a puddle? Well, Look, after like, after Cosmic Shake, I don't want to see anyone trying to go lick, lick fixing anything, let, a, let alone a very sharp... Jewel. That's the size of uh, an igloo. Well, who said he has to lick the sharp parts? But, James, I'm a rebel and I'll do it anyways. So. It is also worth noting that Chaos, that Chaos Zero was not the only what thing that we you? saw having come from that Master Emerald. Here. Nope, because uh, there were two Whoa, things huh? that spawned from its destruction, not like the least it. of which else. Oh, well, no. okay, never, never mind. There's also a third thing the, uh, the stability of the island. This whole island oh. Into the ocean. oh, gosh. Well, that ain't good. Also, apologies, I'm eating pizza. That's okay. fine. By the way, hi, Jordan. Hello! Oh, shit. Good to be back revisiting Jordy, this. how could you eat pizza at a time like this when the island uh... is literally crashing down and causing waves the size of uh, Mississippi? No. Oh, shit, not again. Which, fun fact, I thought this was, the, this was, this was going to be the reason why Central Station later floods, but no, we just kind of get... Blasted here. Yeah. Station the Square Emerald. It, it may, yep, that it, happened. It does make me wonder, like, I know they say it in Sonic X, but as far as, like, in-universe, how far away is Angel Island from, like, the, the city coastlines? Um, that's honestly a funny thing, because it's never explicitly said if, like, Angel Island is left stationary on the, on the Earth's gravity, or if it's just hovering just high enough, where it's literally just floats wherever it pleases. So it's got its own gravitational orbit. Mm, more or less. I want to say that's actually an idea that the or like the early days of the Archie comics played around with, and that's about as far as that went. That's yeah. just a floating continent that has yeah, a mind of its own. That's just reminding me of the conversation we had about uh, Charmy's friend overdosing uh, on drugs. Oh my god. What? Yeah, um, you actually did share with us the exact comic pages where that happened, and I'm still in utter disbelief. Oh, by the way, can Knuckles punch that car over the manhole? No. No. This this car? No, the one over the manhole, right there. I don't know, I'd rather punch that car over there. Hey, get back here! No, okay, no, I'm kidding. Wee, He's wee, already wee. awake. But yeah, he can't. I'm actually curious, can you? Nah, he can't punch it. Huh. Skill issue. That's on Till Sonic Riders, you silly. Nor can he punch this woman. He's very polite like that. Go for it, girl. You got it, girl. I mean, his fear is women, so, you know, he, he fears women. He's very shy around women, that's for sure. Knuckles slay. Wait, he's afraid of women? Yeah, he's afraid of women. Oh, yeah, it's mentioned in, in like, the, the Sonic 3 bios, it says his weakness is girls, air quotes, he's shy. Oh. Aww. So, before we get right all into the mix of this, I'm curious, so, James... What is the main structure for those who've never played this? What is the main structure for a Knuckles level in a in adventure for in the adventure series, basically? All in every level, you are tasked with finding three MacGuffins, usually pieces of the shattered Master Emerald. In fact, you are only looking for pieces of the Master Emerald as Knuckles. But how are we gonna find them? Whoa! Oh, oh there's the, oh, how are we gonna find them in this massive open world area? That little thing on the bottom. 
Yeah, uh, thankfully, Knuckles has the innate ability to sense the whereabouts of emerald pieces, which are displayed on that little uh, UI down there. Okay, a little radar. Oh, uh, get camera. You. As stated in the sequel, he can sense it in his feet. <laughs> what? Unlike Rouge, who has to use a fucking radar. What a pathetic waste. <laughs> actually, I, I actually... Go ahead. I'm convinced that uh, the Lego bricks on Knuckles' shoes are just really high-tech metal detectors. <laughs> actually, I, actually, I can detect them using sonar by shouting. <laughs> <laughs> See, oh, so you, say, can... you say that. Go, go ahead. Say that. I can already imagine <laughs> Knuckles as his as his method of, of trying to uh, detect where the Master Emeralds are. He literally calls them the same way uh, SpongeBob does when he's done doing that one. I forget what it was like a mating call or something like that in one of the earlier seasons. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for the uh, the mating dance of the. Uh, oh, and um, if in the event you feel, if, even if the em the Emerald radar in of itself isn't enough, sometimes you can come across the call and she'll tell you where to go. Yeah, real quick, up. I'll let you. I'll let you do your thing, Doug. But first, I was going off what Logan yeah, said, all like sonar thing. Yeah. thing. Ah! I'm just thinking. Yeah, I'm just thinking back to Avatar, where it's like that. The actor Toph screams and goes, "See, I got a good look at you right there." It's just. I love that. Bit. Thank you. I love that. <clears throat> Thank you, echolocation. I can sense it far emerald shard uh, beyond my beliefs. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh God. Not the game. I see, we well, found it. There we go, uh, the last oh, one. There you you go. got a ring, too. Oh, Knuckles, uh, what a nice <laughs> accessory you're currently wearing on your head. I'm stuck. <laughs> it's an ancient echidna headband. It's an ancient echidna muzzle. I don't think I could breathe in this oh, anymore. <laughs> you know, considering that this is the same echidna who, in one other universe, literally got himself uh, microwaved by, ga by chaos gamma waves. What? Oh, Wait, yeah. What? Wearing a muzzle is probably the least of his concerns. Yeah. So you don't don't believe me? Look up, look up, uh, look up knuckles knuckles being microwaved. What uh, is it? Is that what spawned that uh, chaos knuckles form in like the Pender era comics? Uh, no, it goes even. Uh, no, even? Penders were just surprised. high on meth. Makes sense. It, it's basically to explain why knuckles is the most powerful of the Echidnas. Gotcha. Um, I mean, if you're talking Penders, it's also the same brand of comics where. Apparently, Knuckles have like a bajillion echidna children with like weapon in the tribe. Oh. That, no. And there was like an entire comic where it's like, "You're the father, Knuckles," and it's just like forty pages of him being like completely catatonic from the news. You know, I'd be catatonic from the news also, if I whoa, fathered hello. millions of children. What's this? Well, the, you're already in range of two of them. Also, a Sonic statue. That's a big ass statue. Somebody built a statue in Sonic's honor. Hmm. Proudly sponsored by the Sonic Foundation, donated with your <laughs> <laughs> No, I hate it. Thank you. Oh! I destroyed it, and there was an emerald in there was an emerald shard inside. Well, there you go. There was an emerald in my boot. That's insult injury. Yeah, I'll say. On the chance that there's not an emerald in there, because uh, for for future reference, uh, the emerald wow. positions are what? Wow! I'm so Record I'm time. Sorry, I, that's we had the first level where well, that took about two minutes. This only took like 30 seconds. The fastest time I've ever seen. 32, 32 seconds. seconds. This is the fastest time I've seen good in enough. this one. And yet Knuckles only thinks that's good enough. <laughs> so it does go without saying. The, uh, the, the emer uh, what the hey? Uh, the, emeralds are render the emeralds are placed around randomly, so be careful. Yeah, really. as I was trying to say. Sorry. But yeah, uh, I mean, it also doesn't help either that when Knuckles' is levels, well... He's mostly dealing with pre-established chunks of level Where terrain that's, for the most part, pretty close together. It's a closed-off section of one of the rooms in the level. I don't remember yeah. being here before. And unlike I Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, your that's Emerald cool. Radar detects any Master Emerald Shard hmm. that's within your vicinity. It doesn't this track one at a time. Strange. Which, I mean, to be fair... A lot of people prefer it that way. Oh, hell yeah, because then, 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 then I don't feel routed to, like, I have to grab this one, then, oh, I, I was right over there, you know, that kind of thing. Whoa, my yeah, gosh. That's a, Whoa, no. oh, look at all these echidnas. Hello. Yeah. So many low-poly knees. And to think... And they got some some bitchin' tribal tattoos. And to think, it would take us all the way until frickin' Paramount to ever reference these designs ever again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Grr. Do all these guys have unique dialogue? Uh, Not maybe? all of them. I no? think some of them do, Lou. But there's like, because like, there's a whole society of these little uh, pink punks. 
They look yo ho yo ho yo ho yo ho yo ho it's life for me. Yeah yo yeah yeah. So, Sammy. Yes. Huh? Knuckles the echidna, yes or no? What do you mean yes or no? What the Would fuck you do smash? you mean? <laughs> Not that. I wasn't what? going to that direction. Steven! I mean, unironically, I would say yes, I would smash, but also, okay, what's the actual question? <laughs> I was saying yes or no. Do you like him? Do you think he is a strong member of the Sonic family? Yeah, and I'm glad he kind of got a uh, resurgence back in terms of not being character assassinated. Uh, he he oh. he's he's gained oh, hell yeah. his, I loved uh, his he gained his honor back. Father, yeah. Don't. Oh hey, it's Big Mac. Yeah. Hey you. Oh hey, Big Mac Paddywhack. Can I just say, for the longest time, I never pieced it together that he's supposed to have his eyes closed. I just thought he had like blank, like young blood's disease eyes. That's that's Ooh. what I was always thinking too. But no, there's official. I'm going to tape pose at you, father. No one has the right to take <laughs> there's official material that does show he does have actual eyes underneath those lids. And for some reason, he never opens them up in this game for whatever reason. I'm I not I know the pose trying desperately to uh, assert dominance, and it did not work out in her favor. <laughs> Father, yeah. open your eyes! Now Don't you see I? what you're doing? Now, real quick, where were you trying to ask Jordan? Back in I was saying, Square, I, I thought his eyes were open, like, at the ending cutscene, like, anyway? near the end. No, they weren't open there either. Uh, okay, oh, so he just then. does not want to see. What the? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, hello. Oh, they're just here, I guess. Sonic and Tails are here. Just straight up vibing. Mm -hmm. I wonder what those guys are doing. <laughs> I wonder what they're doing, because <laughs> this one's down. This one's Who are these ticking. guys, anyways? What, what the fuck are you doing? both doing? Get the hell up. God. <laughs> Eggman. Man, Fred. And I will say, that is interesting that they did go to the extra mile to try and make it consistent. And thus, we see... <gasps> Egg! Power walking in place. I'm heading off to my hotel room. Don't follow me. It's called loitering. I think I'm going to follow you. I mean, Eggman is very slowly getting away. <laughs> oh, he's gone. He's gone. He zipped away. He went zip soon. I don't know why, but I'm finding it funny that Knuckles is literally going up a fucking elevator, politely. Eggman. Quick, to the cafeteria! Master Emerald. No. <gasps> oh, uh, you! Eh? Watch your you, were, you were about to interrupt my devil egg, uh, my <laughs> dining plans. Right. Yeah, my dining plans for devil eggs. I can use you as a guinea pig. So then, like, so wait, so does Knuckles have no, like, chaos. investment in chaos. stopping Eggman from having the mask, the, the, the Chaos Emeralds? Chaos. He doesn't understand oh, that Eggman oh, is hey. the enemy. Chaos won. Yo. But, um, let's be real here. Like, so like this is just after the events of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, so Knuckles is still fairly fresh to the whole picture of Eggman being a total douchebag. Aside from, you know, him trying to nab the Master Emerald. But, however... Here you go! Now we get to see Chaos 2. Oh, hey, the aforementioned Yep, Chaos now we can see two. how he got his other leg. The beefy or his other arm, I'm It's okay! <laughs> changing shape. I mean, don't scare in a me. sense, they could count as, like, a third and fourth leg. Give it your best shot. So, how well does this brawler type go now? Uh, you'll see. By the way, have you ever taken the moment to see that little red thing in the middle of the arena? Like, to actually look at it. Oh, no. It's really fucking freaky. It's like a screaming goat demon head. Also, I was Ooh. today years old when I realized that there were actually open windows in this in this battle arena. What'd you think they were? I don't know. Just walls? <laughs> Thinking about it, where's the exit out of this place? Uh, you got me. There is no escape. <laughs> no escape. Oh, yeah, otherwise, it's never leave. Yeah. Otherwise, this fight's really not that bad. The only thing about it is that, you know, Chaos's defensive game can be a little obnoxious to deal with when you're when he's literally trying to do his little creeper walk on you. I keep he just likes being a big bouncy ball sometimes. I keep forgetting yeah, you could God. I keep forgetting that he has a shield like that in this fight. Yeah. Hey James. Mm -hmm. I need you to see if you can do a favor for me real quick. Mm -hmm. What's that? Uh, on the count of three, say the word apple with me, all right? <laughs> okay. Why? What, what's okay. wrong? One, two, three, apple. apple. Okay, perfect. Continue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, huh? I fail to see the joke. The word of today is grapes, because they're <laughs> Knuckles' favorite food. 
All I will say is that you'll know what I was. You'll know what I'm talking about when you go back to do the, the post editing on oh, this thing. I can hardly wait. It, it's not that. Bad. Honestly, like, I figured that was the case, but now, like, now it's just making me think of like, this was a test of the emergency broadcasting system. This was only a test. I was about to say for shits and giggles. I figured Logan was gonna be was gonna be like, my name's Logan. I'm wasting your time. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't doing that, Genu but genuinely I did do a goof, and that's why I did that to hopefully fix the goof later. Thank you. Oh, can't My wait. name is Logan. Logan Chavez. My stream setup died. <laughs> this look is it who he said? This concludes the test of the emergency yeah, apples yeah. broadcast. <laughs> Remember this for My name is something <gasps> Also, we are so terribly sorry, everybody, over us talking over Eggman trying to trick Knuckles again. Quote unquote trying. Well, it's like, it's about to happen right now. They have subtitles. Yeah, they do have <gasps> subtitles. You can what? read them. It's like, listen, Dun -dun. this is the same dip nuts that tried to take the Master Emerald from you on the first go, even tricking you the first time around that he needed your help against Sonic, and yet. You're falling for his tricks well after the fact. It's like... Like, he just sick some weird water demon on you. At least to Knuckles' credit, at least it's it's not like he's outright, like, completely convinced. He's just more so just... He, he's going to try to find Sonic to get his side of the story. I yes, by Sonic harassing him. Master Emerald. Given that this dude is, for all intents and purposes, a complete fish out of water, I think that's completely sensible for him to want to get his side of the story. Initially, anyway. Yeah, but he's not like, he's not like Rolf, <laughs> if no. that makes sense. Like, like you steal Rolf. piece of white bread, egghead. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a shepherd. <laughs> you steal piece of boiled egg. The son of the shepherd. All right, that's right. That's right. Knuckles doesn't go to a nice cat. Yeah, he doesn't. Knuckles is not allowed in the cold. <laughs> he needs a coat. Now that we're making the Rolf comparisons, I'm just thinking like, Knuckles, what is that? Oh, that's uh, right. He's like, Knuckles, what is that? The head of discipline. Do you live in a cave? <laughs> no, I live in an airship. Can I just an object, please? Nah, but don't tell can? anyone. Keep it a secret. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, say so if this was your first time, first time playing through this game, I think you'd get the hint from Tukala that you're supposed to go to the mountains next. But unfortunately, the way to the mountains is currently blocked off by a gate that is currently being guarded by a caged monkey. Right. I remember getting hung up on this part for a little bit. Actually, what does to call say during this exact moment? Let's find out. Let's see. There's something shiny in the caves. What caves? While you're searching for the solution, I want to ask the young, the lovely young lady here, uh, Jordan, what are your experiences with Sonic Adventure One? Well, I will say I didn't play it until like. You know, later, later on, but I want to say it was like during college. I won't, I'm not sure 100%, but uh, I remember getting the director's cut for the uh, GameCube, and I thought it was pretty cool at the time. You've got the shovel. I box. think now there were times where I got very stone. stuck, Press especially on big stage, but I eventually figured out what to do and I moved forward from there. Let me guess, were you stuck on his second level? I believe so, yes. That was the one with uh, Twinkle Park, right? Oh, no, that's the first level. Oh, then, yeah, I, I got stuck from day one. You just got stuck on big completely because who who ever heard of fishing in a video game? Switch on. True. I had no idea what the fuck a monkey destruction switch would mean. Time to play ColecoVision. It destroys monkeys. Like I thought you had to, like, step on it, but no, you just have to put it down. It killed the monkey. Right? Yeah, no, because... not throwing it doesn't work either. Anyway, you were saying I. Well, I was just saying the whole like uh, I always wondered what's with this monkey destruction switch. I said it destroys monkeys. It seems pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. I think you just told us all you need to know now. I mean, good thing it only destroys robotic monkeys and not so much actual monkeys, because that'd be really fucked up. That would be. That would be fucked up, but I would probably be that sadistic person who would laugh at it at first. No, just a random chimp <laughs> somewhere on the earth. You just push them on in every monkey on earth immediately, <laughs> all at once, simultaneously. So that explains Planet of the Apes. <laughs> little buddy, no! <laughs> oh no, not DK! So that's why we haven't been getting any Donkey Kong content until the movie. Oh, I love this place. I'll say for what's worth is, it does still seem kind of weird that of all the other Kongs to, you know, properly represent the movie, they decided to pick Cranky. 
At the end of the day, though, say if they're ever in, they ever do go forward nice. with making this whole entire like movie franchise, I feel like Diddy would make more sense to shine in what if a Donkey Kong Country centric movie. Yeah. Should we also talk about the fact that they did confirm that they're gonna include the DK rap in there? To some extent, I don't know. I'm hoping. Did they say outright, or was it just them just acknowledging that you know it exists? No, Seth Rogen said that during the opening scene when he comes in, they are gonna play the DK rap. It's going to be his introductory. <laughs> I, I have no idea if that was a joke, but I really, I really hope it's true. I thought the thing said that he wanted it in there, not that it was. I don't know. He said it in the kind of tone of, oh man, DK's totally going to come out to this. Like, He said it in that kind of tone, but but yes, Sammy's right. His words verbatim were, Donkey Kong, when he comes out for the competition, comes out to this song. Can yeah, I just say I love Fred Canyon, uh, Fred Mountain? And that's it's, fun. It's yeah. the reason why I'm so upset that I, I forgot that you guys were going to sound like the way through. Because <laughs> I like, really like this awful. And really, it's one of those things where I kind of forgot that you are a big Sonic convention nut like I am. Listen, all is forgiven. <sighs> it's like the only Sonic game that matters to me. Really? The only Sonic game that matters? The only all one, this really? Sonic Mania, and maybe Frontiers. Not even the original trilogy? I never grew up with the original trilogy. Or Generations? And I never finished Generations, because I can't stand the boost formula. Uh, how oh. about... How about the Advanced Trilogy? I like the Advanced Trilogy. I wouldn't stick my neck out of it for it, though. Because okay. trying to get the true ending for those games is horseshit. I'll agree to that. Lo Logan's, uh, Logan's co genuine confusion, just like, okay... <laughs> He's like, what? Mm -hmm. A guy who doesn't like Sonic? Oh, and here we are. Oh, hang on. Oh, here it is. I think it's the line. Are. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> I, th I think here's the line. Let's see. It's a chaos symbol, you doof. Okay, and his defense here, from that distance, it does look like he probably could have been holding on to a shard. I mean, yeah. it is yeah, the it is green. green. Well, I guess the only thing I would, the, the only thing I would say to stuff like that, James, is that since they established that he can sense Master Emerald shards, wouldn't his Emerald radar go off if that was a Master Emerald shard? Well, who's to say he can't also sense the Chaos Emeralds the same way? That is true. And yeah, false positive then. You can't make a chaos without a master. <gasps> and yes, we did talk over the line. You know, understandable. Sorry. But I, but I, but I heard of the. <laughs> All right. Oh no. Put him up. No. All right, Knuckles, fist fight now. Oh my God, oh, your no. fist! Oh shit, he's, oh shit, he's actually fighting back. Kill the peep squeak. All right, I don't got fists to punch with. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if we've already made it clear in this playthrough or if James oh, no, has. The PvP sequences are kind of just glorified cutscenes. They're pathetic. Yeah. They're just there. That's it. Yeah, that is... Yeah. They don't have much substance to them, and I mean, I'll give SA2 credit for making them a little more engaged, but even so, they're st either which way, they're still pretty pathetic. Uh, I don't know. I'd say SA2 kind of overall makes them better, if for no other reason than the fact that they can actually last for longer than five seconds. That is true. You know, it could just be me, but I think the Sonic pr uh, protagonists are stupidly uh, incompetent sometimes. They're all, but, but you have to remind yourself, though, they're also, at times, kind of arrogant teenagers in their own way. Yeah. Well, they used to be teenagers. Sometimes Eggman, like, who's, sometimes the better villains can get the upper hand on the heroes every once in a while. I mean, how old is Eggman? Yes. He's old enough to know <laughs> yes. that Maria's his cousin. Okay, well, how That's old is true. Maria post-mortem? 50, remember that whole thing happened with Maria like 50 yeah. years ago and she was like, Alright, nah. something plus 50. Yeah, so at least plus 50. Now, let's just go ahead and add on an additional fish crotch. Alright, let's fight uh, fish chaos one more time. No problem. I'm still I'll not a fan of... Uh... <laughs> but that'll just make a muddy chaos, Knuckles. <laughs> I'm gonna put some I'm dirt in I'm still not a fan. I'll be right back. Still not a fan. Okay. No worries. No worries. <laughs> So imagine that for a moment there, like, what if Knuckles just made him eat a whole bunch of dirt and he just suddenly became muddy chaos? Then he'd be <gasps> part of the Earth? Like, how much more of a threat would he be? You know what, maybe he can, like, like force him to eat sand and he can become, like, the Sonic Sandman. <laughs> maybe, and then he throws pocket sand in Sonic's face. We all have a heart, we, we all have a hearty giggle at that gaff. Uh, yeah. Pocket sand. It's a gaff. It's a goof or a gaff. A yoke. Oh, okay. I've, I've just never heard anyone refer to it as a gaff. Wait, you never heard of yeah. gaff tape? 
We'll say real quick. Unfortunately, Knuckles has it the longest out of uh, everyone's uh, with a Chaos Four. Because yeah. look at that health bar. Yeah, it's a bit beefier. Isn't that much different from the previous one? Chaos fucking hates Knuckles more. He takes a little more punishment. Does he? Like, yeah, he does. Like, it's it's one of those things where it's kind of subtle, but you can kind of tell, like, even when you play them all, like, more or less in tandem with each other, because, like, Kales has it, has it the shortest. Like, he only takes, like, maybe, like, three or four hits at most. Knuckles, I think, takes, like, five or six. I thought Tails took six hits. No, Tails is uh, about with the cast four is easily the shortest. Really? It is. Huh. So that means that Tails had an easier time than the rest of them did. That's kind of... <laughs> that shows his power. Well, Tails is meant to be a sort of... I guess Knuckles and oh, Sonic... Oh, that's right, I forgot he had it's all the fl it's 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 because of the flying and the, the <laughs> ability. He he did the floppy arm attack. Meanwhile, Cast Four is fishing for dipshits. Yeah, he did the funny floppy arm thing. He, fun funny water. Like you know those jelly hands you could get from like a dollar store that you could fling onto. You know bars? what? No, 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 Iki. You know what he was doing? He what? was literally reaching into the vending machine for a enchilada. <laughs> For a chaos cola. Just trying to stretch on up there, get that chaos chocolate bar that fell. And then eventually gets stuck in the machine himself. Oh, <laughs> like Homer? It's like, oh, no, uh, no like Scooby Doo. <laughs> the guy is like, oh, no. And then they all just ate the machine together. Like, just a simple, like a straight cutaway. No rhyme or reason to it. Like, there's we a don't monster, know Scoob. Why. He can't get us while we're in here. Like, like Scoob, look at the size of that chicken. Mmm, chicken. <laughs> I'm back. Hello. Oh, back. Welcome, Welcome back. back. My flying fortress. Oh, I made it back for the fortress. Also, huh? It, it took until the Knuckles campaign to actually give him new clips for this particular scene. What, wait, is it a new clip? Yeah, it was a different line. Well, yeah, he's clearly saying something different. So he said the same thing in Tales of campaign song as he did to Tales. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Ah. The behold my uh, behold my floating masterpiece. For some reason, like, this entire scene is completely the same with Tails. I'm just gonna chalk that one up to maybe they didn't have enough time to make new ones for Tails. Probably. <laughs> hey, Sonic, up yours. Oh, damn, I mean, you could apo I mean, you could apologize for what you no did. <laughs> what I did? You're the one who dropped him. Nah, he's too prideful to apologize for anything. I mean, there's also the matter of, like, in the grand scheme of things, Knuckles probably would have would benefit more from actually tagging along since I'm pretty sure the whole Master Emerald shit that we just that we're going through this whole time might also include Eggman's ship. You know, technically it's Knuckles' responsibility. Well, I guess that- You guys go on ahead. Oh, go ahead. That does Knuckles, make me wonder, because I don't know if anyone's ever talked about it. Is Eggman aware <laughs> of the fact that the Master Emerald shattered? I don't think so, no. He's no. way too busy fetching Chaos Emeralds for Chaos. Well, he. I shall say this. He knows. Actually, to I guess kind of to correct that, he knows enough about it. Hype there. Remember, he was the one that told Knuckles that Sonic was also after pieces of the Master Emerald to try and trick That's him on this. Right. Whole thing. That's right. That's right. But I don't. But, but I don't know if he actually. But I. D I doubt Eggman knows like enough of their whereabouts to be like collecting them. He already has his game plan. He's betting it all on chaos. Oh shit! Are we? Oh no! We're doing this part again. Oh yeah! I remember getting stuck. But first, a uh, quick detour. I have a beef with this particular bit of the game. How Both come? for uh, Knuckles and Sonic. Uh, Knuckles, it could be worse. My younger self could not find those two stone statues to the door to the past for shit. Well, the first one, I mean, they just outright give to you the moment you step foot into this Ooh. forest. Oh, hey. Hey, nice. look at that. Hey, that's or my lucky jungle. charm. Also, while we're here, we can also grab the only other uh, upgrade Knuckles oh. has in this campaign. Whoa! Piss gloves! Ta-da! The funky fresh lemon gloves. Now he's got gloves to match his shoes. They're lemon scented. Oh, charge! Oh, charge punches! It's the retro bugs bunny look. <gasps> the first time I I saw this, I I accidentally misread that misread what Tikal said as the maximum heat, the maximum heart Knuckles attack. <laughs> That's basically I love you. To be attacked. The max I love now you can hold. Now you can. Go ahead. That's basically when Knuckles makes his ultimate confession to Rouge. Yeah, exactly. I would say if not. Uh, if they, not, they if, if not, if not that he comes out, it comes out that he's one of the the mythical echidna, the magical echidna girls. Oh, oh God! But I'm a boy. 
These are the mystical heart gloves. With them, you can grab the hands of your enemies with the most tender grip. Also, hi, allow me to introduce you at some point to the Sailor Star Scouts. Oh, yeah. Or, you know what, you know what, don't, don't ask me, ask Sealy, she's more... Oh, she's shit, are you talking about the Americanized version? No. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, but, but did you ever... You heard about that, right, right, Icky? That out of nowhere, it turned out that the freaking Library of Congress were the people that actually had the archived footage of the Americanized Sailor Moon. Really? I'm not surprised it's the Library of Congress, but I'm also surprised that's the Library of Congress. Yeah, so because basically, so, so those don't know, Sammy and Doug, did you ever hear about the Americanized Sailor I'm Moon? I'm not American. Yeah, I have. I've heard about it. Oh, yeah, Saban Moon. Yeah, Save and Move. Thank you. That was it. Yeah, Save and Move. It, for the longest time, all we knew was like one or two clips or like one or two like really be weird, like, you know, lame, like cam rip photos from one convention. And then out of nowhere, they just realized, oh, all this time, Saban, ha you, most media has to be registered with the Library of Congress for some categorizing reason, I guess. But yeah, all this time, they were the ones that had it. Hmm. And so on YouTube, it, you can find... Uh, alongside a little documentary of how they came across Saban Moon, uh, you can find the all the original clips of what Saban Moon had to offer before it was, you know, uh, you know obviously dropped by the network that, that they was trying to pitch it to. By the way, this music that's playing right now, um, it's not unique to Knuckles' version of Lost World. It actually plays in the last room of Sonic's playthrough of Lost World. Right. You know, yeah. right before the uh, the mural featuring Chaos. Which, honestly, may as well not have even been there in the first place, because by the time you reach that room, you're done with the level. But hey, it yeah. is a pretty good music track. It is. I'm not honestly grateful it got used elsewhere. Uh, help me out here. I'm literally getting I'm literally getting shanked here. Oh. Oh, there, oh, oh, there you go. Turn left. I gotta say, this is a much easier way of navigating this room. Just being able to climb up on everything. Oh, 100%. Yeah, Sonic Breath could really have benefited from this if he had, you know, proper climbing gear. Oh no, we won't get Breath of the Knuckles until later this year with that final DLC for Frontiers. I'm oh still... Is it supposed to be insinuating that the... Oh, uh, off to the left, off to the left, there's a trail of rings. Okay. I mean... With that, whoa. Oh. Oh. Um, with that whole game plan they had, did they... Ins was it supposed to be insinuating that they're gonna have, uh... Tails, Amy's, and Knuckles be playable? Or is that more so alluded to, uh... Sage. Well, I imagine it would be. I imagine because I think they did tout extra playable characters, and they did show off Tails, Knuckles, and Amy okay, yeah, when they, they said that. They did say they, they did say it in plural, so yeah, that probably insinuates that they're gonna at least do the, the you know the usual Sonic three. Mm. I do kind of hope that we get a playable Sage at some point. I I think she deserves it. I feel like we're gonna get that when we complete all the characters. I feel like mm. potentially. I could see them uh, giving her, like, oh, I see what we did right here. I just oh, hope we don't get, here. like, an excuse to expand upon the Ikaruga minigame. Because, I mean, it, it's functional. I, I like I like the Ikaruga stuff. I didn't well, no, 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 it's functional, it works, but at the same time, it's not what I'm really looking for from a 3D Sonic game. I, listen, Good enough. fair, but at the same time, I don't think it really ruined anything in the long run. Like, I thought it was perfectly fine. I mean, I'd rather play it over the fucking pinball minigame. Oh, absolutely. But I'm just saying, it's like skydiving. Thing. I know, pe I know there are people that say that shouldn't have been what the what the game ended off on. I just say the game was training us for that exact Where moment. And honestly, it's really, if it's functional and works perfectly strange. fine, I do care less. Plus, and you're not necessarily required to play that part of the game because this what do you, is what do you mean the other, the the other hacking missions? I'm pretty sure like the hacking no, missions. No, not the hacking missions. No, 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 no. no. I, I, re I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, My technically that is left behind a difficulty soon. slider. But in that case, I kind of wish there were more opportunities to practice on that style of gameplay. Well, I think the... Eh, I'd say the Because for those not time. really used to the, the shoot-em-up genre... Anyway, I think we're going going off track at the moment for a game we're not going to be doing for a while. All right, there's we're a lot working. going on there. So I'm sorry, you guys. So, uh, it looks like here, especially just for little Knuckle Boy, he gets two flashback sequences. Not just two, but three. The third three? one we'll, we'll be coming up to eventually. But yeah, no, he gets the most flashbacks out of everyone, and that is probably my probably what I will consider the best and worst thing about Knuckles' campaign. It's great that he has this many flashbacks. I, I think what's kind of stupid is that 
to Knuckles, this means almost nothing. Yeah, honestly, like, I feel like out of all the characters, like, like, it makes the most sense for Knuckles to have these flashbacks, but I feel like they really don't do enough with them compared to, like, you know, like, what they do with Sonic and Tails is fine because, you know, they need to learn more about chaos, so, like, those bits of lore make sense to them. I just feel like they don't what? do enough of it with Knuckles, and they really didn't even the need to do it with Amy, Big, and Gamma. This is Especially Big and Gamma. I mean, again, I think it just comes down to that Knuckles completely just drops it in, because he still needs to get the he still needs to recover the Master Emerald at the end of the day. But it's like this is tied to that as well as his lost people. It's like he should be taking he should be taking this shit more seriously. No, yeah, no, exactly. Like, wouldn't that be important to him? Like, no shit. When you think about it in, in terms of, like the overall narrative, I think it's almost at a disservice that this game focuses on six playable characters as opposed to just two or three. Well, I mean, I say two just because at the end of the day, Tails and Sonic Maze will be one and the same. Yeah. Yeah, as you're saying. Ah, well. As a side note, whenever I hear this part of the music start with like the harpsichord and the whistling, I always think of like a Thanksgiving turkey. Wherever they are. <laughs> Why or, like a, turkey? a Thanksgiving feast. <laughs> oh, like they're all calling to everybody to the table. Hey. Yeah, something quaint like that. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the Master Emerald can also, you know, project images of where the other pieces can be found. It's got its own egg carrier in a bottle. And Knuckles is thinking to himself, "Damn it, I really should, I really shouldn't have stepped out on Sonic and Tails like I did." Now, how am I supposed to get there? Am I supposed to just I jump up real high and touch the sky? Oh, oh, hello. Who are hello, you? Mysterious. It's Robin. It's the mysterious hey, Robin. Isn't that one of the Robin? Robots? <laughs> it's the spokesperson for Robotonic. Oh, I know. It's him. The freaking what was that guy from E3 face. a long time ago? The freaking Razor. It was like a it was like a Power Rangers Razor guy man. who had it. Who had like a razor? Who had like a shaving razor for a head? I think it was, it was like a like cyber Hats Razor brand. Something no, no, it was Shick Hydro, I think. Sick Hydro Man, yes, <laughs> Sick Hydro Bot. So that one, that one lost devil from Chainsaw Man. Yeah, it's like Hydro Bot. Hydro yeah, I Man. God, that was weird. Anyway, you doing good, Jordan? Uh, yeah, I'm just watching. Okie dokie. If it means anything, Jordy, we're actually not too far off from beating Knuckles of Cave. Yeah. Like, oh, I, I figured. I remember this from a while ago. Well, it, like, no shit. Sonic's campaign is easily the longest out of the, all of them, and everyone else, by comparison, I don't think even comes close to even reaching the halfway point of what's what you'd expect out of Sonic. Yeah. yeah. Also, for this instance, I do apologize if there are bits where I just kind of disappear. Um, one of my relatives are over, and my and like I said before, I think I said this before in the video. Uh, house guests tend to tend make my dogs go ballistic. <laughs> also, I also I'm sure Knuckles is say, thinking the same thing that we're thinking right now. Was that always there? Nope. When did I get neighbors? <gasps> Oh my god, a rave party! Holy <laughs> shit! Isn't that the castle tower from Power Stone 2? I didn't know I had neighbors. I'm gonna go give him a great old welcome to the neighborhood hug. Either that or he could just be hostile like last time and say get the fuck out of my neighborhood. I'm gonna give them a fist bump they'll never forget. I hate hedgehogs. <laughs> yeah. I, no, E 102 Gamma has that on repeat in his head. Is like, I hate that hedgehog. I hate that hedgehog. <laughs> I just want to my mind. A house call. Like, that's the only thing he could think of. Yeah. Or maybe it's the mass produced models in battle. How about this? I'm actually curious. Uh, James, do mm -hmm. you prefer the knuckle stages in one or two? I'll admit, I. People can say whatever they want about SA2's uh, knuckle stages. I honestly think they're a little more engaging just because they're catered to Knuckles' abilities. Again, the damning right. thing about them is just how much they nerf the radar. Yeah. The radar really is the knife who killed it. Now we'll but I agree, I do appreciate that they're, like, actual, like, uniquely made, uh, stages for them. Somewhere. And, I mean, hell, nowadays I'm pretty sure you can find a mod for the PC version of SA2 battle that does bring back the Sonic Venture 1 radar. Oh, easily. Oh, hell yeah. The only thing I don't like about the SA2 Knuckles stages are the fucking jump-scaring ghosts. What's I do not on? like those ghosts. <laughs> uh, I mean, after the first couple of times, they stopped phasing me. To me. 
Did you not like the boss boom or whatever his name was? King Boom Boom. The, 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 big, the big ghost is the least of my problems. Or because he has a fucking technicolor tongue and goes. King Boom Boom. I'm the giant ghost that makes King Boom Boom. King, King, King Boom Boom. Right. <laughs> Plus, they're already called boobs, and that's like a Nintendo. I don't. I, don't I will say, I don't. I don't much care for him, but goddamn, do I love his theme song. Sky Deck. I was even about to say to fuck around with myself. It's like, hey, Doug, how the fuck do you remember that name? Simple. I remember names because I'm a little piece of shit. <laughs> so if you're wondering why Sonic had to deal with all that uh, directional fuckery during his run of Sky Deck Act 3, uh, this is why. Yep, and uh, if you thought that the previous Knuckle stages seemed a little too short for their own good, don't worry. Sky Deck has you covered. Oh, sky deck Lord. can suck my sky dick. I didn't know you had that, and also I don't want to know that you have that, personally. Okay. Also okay. proven, Doug is the antithesis to me. How's that? Yes. <laughs> I don't know, Matt. I don't, I don't know, Matt. How, why don't you tell him? Why, yeah, why he's the antithesis to me, because he remembers names better than me. Oh, oh, right, because you mix up that. Steve and Matt for different... But it's not, it's not, it's it's not just that, like, I'm just, I'm just awful in general with names. Oh yeah, by the way, like, Matt, uh, we'll, we'll be so, seeing you once you get to a base campaign. So he, so he's the Deadpool to your Wolverine. Maybe. It makes also, sense, be... it makes sense because of our, it makes sense because we're for actual names. Yeah. Mm hmm also, yeah, uh, we'll be seeing Matt for Big's campaign. Spoiler alert: it's not because of it's not because of Big. He's being there. <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert: he's there to harass people per usual. He wants to That's he wants he wants to pick on Hype's new baby sister. No, I, I would not call her my baby sister. Oh, do I know it? Well, she she used to have a baby. He wants to brag about his fishing techniques. I'm the second youngest now in this group. I thought, I thought she was sheep? like the same age yeah, as you, just but she's sheep. like a little bit older. The sheep. No, she's younger. No, that's my sheep! Oh, okay. Oh, thank god. We're well, the you heard it straight it. from the Logan's mouth. We're the same age, hon, but <laughs> I'm older by a couple of months. Oh. Also, oh, thank god. I only had to do the, uh... Oh, the leveling ones? Uh-oh. Yeah, well, camera. Camera. Level oh, shit once. camera. I had no idea a short could be up that high. Yeah, me neither. You, got, you went for the long-range like, snipe! Holy yeah. shit. Why is there no roof to this building? We're on a we're on the plane. We're on the deck. We're on the carrier. Oh, you said roof. I thought you said something else. <laughs> Good enough. What could I possibly? Damn, say? that well, texture is. No, Dad, no, we're not filling in that blank. Thank you. All right. Okay. Now to restore the master emerald. Now let's get it. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Wait a minute. Let's get the. Also, I like how there's a here. tall ball floating around here and. Right there. Yeah, yeah, that was a. Uh, Which mm. one's the real Tikal? None of them. Tikal never existed to begin with. Oh, oh, I feel like oh, they should have no. placed Knuckles somewhere Not else again. to avoid that being seen. What is <laughs> the meaning of this? Nah, it's fine. It's a goofy little game about talking hedgehogs. It, this everything everything turned red. Oh no! Wait, there's the fire. Okay. Knuckles is in his natural habitat, the red. Oh, you know, a, a, a simple children's game about literal ba little literal babies and their caretaker getting brutally beaten up. Dead babies. And, and, and their entire game. altar being caught on fire oh, by forces uh, currently unknown. By the way, I love the contrast of like all the red down here and the bright blue sky up above. God, I want to make the joke, but I'm not going to. Oh my god. Wait. Listen, if there's anything that SADX did change for the better, it's it's all the uh, fire effects of this scene because they are. Did they really? They did. They did. It's, it's it's not as much of an eyesore. I don't think they game? did. Not no, no, I they remember. did. I do it's remember like this. They did. Before the fire, the, before the fire, literally just looked like little scattered bits. Like in, it, it was not actually that impressive. And on the uh, DX. I well, the, uh, well, yeah, just, I don't know, I'd say that's the one case where DX did it for the better. Here, it's just, like, it's, it's, again, it's fucking bad on the ice. Speaking of bad on the oh. ice. Boop. What the heck? Beep. What is it? By the way, uh, hold up, I love the sound. <laughs> he drowned? It's like he's gargling. Oh, God. Oh. You know... I remember once upon a time they had a completely different direction for this actor for Knuckles, and I have really? to wonder if that was all kept, what would that have sound like instead of what we got now? 
Uh, well, you kind of get a sample of that whenever you uh, attack Knuckles in his character fights. Oh, yeah, no. Whenever he goes, oh, no, that was actually from his original takes. Mm -hmm. Like, huh. he made him sound a little more, like, heroic, for lack of a better word, in a very goofy way. Heroic? Heroic. Oh, I thought he said heroic. Basically, all noble, like, I must. Basically, all noble, like, I must defend the Emerald. Forward. Oh, so like a Superman. Kind Essentially. Of. A Superman. Uh, a poor man. A Superman. Like Captain on a Underpants. Budget. A Superman on a budget. <laughs> so a subpar man. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is just after Sonic took out Chaos 6. So, uh, all's well that ends well, right? Yeah. No. The Master Emerald. Not quite. No. Because there's oh, Chaos 6. Again? You got frozen oh. and shattered. Yeah, he's made of water. He melted and you can't stop me so back to the This is absolutely just filler now. Yeah. It absolutely is. Well, no, it's just there to prove that Sonic's shenanigans with Chaos was not enough to stop him. So we're gonna have to finish the job. So what the okay, fuck is this so form supposed to be? I think it's supposed to be like a scorpion. No, it's got like six legs, and the back legs are like frog legs. Sorry, right, before thoughts on. Okay. Oh god, my. Ears. Oh wow, so Whoa! it does. Oh, oh wow, so so it does actually do more damage to bosses. It does. It takes That's out nice. half of the cell bar. I guess it should, I guess it, it wasn't immediately obvious, ladies and gentlemen. Um, all of uh, Knuckles' boss fights are just with chaos. Oh shit, is he about to do the Plinko attack? Uh, yes, he is. Actually. I mean, they're the clunk. Look out, everyone! It's the it's it's the guillotine. No, not the guillotine! I've never gotten hit by those things. <laughs> okay, well that was fun, wasn't it? Now what? Okay, yes? you can go back okay. to your regular form now. What? That? I, I would I love to say. See, I would love to see the concept art of this thing because I to this day I could still nice. I cannot make heads or tails out of whatever the fuck this is. It well, whatever like it is, it's. You know what? It kind of reminds me of something you'd ex like a, one of the weirder creatures of Outworld, or not Outworld, Oddworld, Oddworld. I could see that. Mm -hmm. Both, for, kind for of both, like honestly. The, like the like the scraps. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, Chaos has been down again, and this time he left a, left a, behind a couple presents for us. But where's the Red Emerald? Remember, that's the seventh one. Oh yeah. Yeah, he only had six. So let's nab him. But who has the Red Emerald? Thankfully, Knuckles did just that. Good. I love rock candy. Mm-mm. God. I will destroy the Chaos Emeralds to, to, to make rock candy! To make rock candy! Okay, that's actually much better. I don't know if any of us have stated it, but I love how they, they just, like, zoom out of the FMV. Yeah, yes. no. Every single time, it's always wacky. Wait till the big and one. Since, and since I'm using a wide uh, a widescreen mod for this game, it absolutely shows that he's just flying, on, like, like he's not even flying in the scene. He's just on the he set. He flies out of the scene. <laughs> I'll take one. He's like green screened. Uh, don't Damn. worry, we'll edit all, edit all that out in post. He is merged within the ground. Oh yeah, he is. He's, he's sinking. <laughs> uh, don't worry, Nucky. We'll prop out those scratches. <laughs> and so, with these last three pieces. The, uh, the world's largest ring pop has been restored. Perfect. Oh, goody. All now everyone well can now. enjoy... What is it? Lime? Sour green apple? What, what flavor? I'd rather take lime. Sour apple is uh, not for me. I like sour apple. Okay, fair enough. The birds are singing! Isn't it beautiful? Uh, are we just done? Did, uh, did we beat the game now? Yeah, no, that, that that's it. That was all Knuckles had to uh, offer. Oh, dang. Chaos is defeated. The Angel <laughs> Island is floating back up. Yeah. Which, by the way, where's Casino Night? Or whatever it's called. Oh, Carnival, Carnival Night? Carnival Night, yeah. Where's Carnival Night? Sandopolis? I think that's been long, that's long been uh, destabilized. Oh, oh yeah. Dismantled, you, thank you. Yeah, you think Knuckles is gonna let that remain on his island? I get the feeling they were just... Cr they just fell off the edges of the island. Oh yeah, I guess that is one thing that we forgot to mention. That it's always it's been like a little like all those explorers around Mystic Ruins. Like they, uh, some of them were, I think, were also on Angel Island. So they're stuck up here now. Along <laughs> for the ride. What are we? Master Emerald again. Hey, Knuckles! Sunrise, sunset. The whole story behind this. Can you give me a ride home. But perhaps <laughs> it's better that way. Hello? Don't mind me. him, he's just deep in thought. 
You know, the way he's monologuing here reminds me a lot of Zach Bagans of Ghost Adventures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, I never believed in the Chaos Emeralds until today. Hmm. I forgot so I came the I, face I, to face with one. I forgot the name of this song. But unknown yeah, from no, Emmy. Oh, the Unknown from Emmy. Oh, this is Unknown from Emmy? Okay. Yeah, What's he, Emmy? This is Master, Master Emerald. Emerald. Oh! <laughs> I mean, um, my opinions on the uh, my opinions on the vocalist on this song aside, I still think this is my favorite of the all, most, if not all, the um, vocal tracks in this game. It, it is isn't still this a Parappa the Rapper. Yeah, it's Parappa the Rapper. <laughs> but I, I so that aside, I will say that I I feel like I guess it's because it's just it's the smooth it's just like one of the smoothest like easiest listening things I would say like like this is it's just a bop. Oh yeah, no, absolutely, it's an absolute bop. It's also one of my favorite Siva Gunner rips. <laughs> oh, oh, you oh, you talking about this, the the uh, freaking Eminem unknown from Emmy? No, they call me Knuckles. I like oh, Knuckles. I, I know Knuckles from like 2016. Oh, that one. No. Okay, I'm, <laughs> no. I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm just I'm just throwing this out there right now. The 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 Siva Gunner rip that mashes up the that mashes up the vocals from this song with Eminem's uh, "I'm the Real Shady" or <laughs> "Real Some Shady" whatever. It's actually really solid. <laughs> uh, don't do all, all the things and to boys. Just believe in my circles. Lovers. Anyway, oh, Sammy, do you have it? Sammy, knuckles. what did you think? Of, what did you think of your second campaign? Watching through the whole time now. Pretty pog. What me? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty poggers. You know, I don't know what the weird crap you youngins say nowadays, but I gotta just say right now, it's wiggity wiggity whack. Jordy, what about you? <laughs> Jordy, what, what, about, what about you now that you're here with us again on Knuckles? What did you think of this little adventure? It was definitely a nice little nostalgia trip. Especially the song. And again, I'll still say, like, on like on its own, it does service things fairly relatively well. I'd already probably uh, roughly around um it feels what's the word? Like it feels like a decent enough add-on compared to everything else in the series. In the, well, not the series, in the series in this game for specifically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just think that if there's anything about Knuckles campaign that will always irk the shit out of me is that how much untapped potential there is with its story. Because, yeah. like, again, Knuckles is literally the last of his kind. And this game actually di dives into, well, the fate of his kind. And he doesn't really take much of, oh, much of it so well. to heart, if at all. Yeah. Oh, there like, he's, is. Just, he's just focused on one thing and one thing only, just finding all the pieces of the Master Emerald and then just going back to his boring old uh, Guardian ways. Saxophone baby, take that rhythm and just let it go for a spin. <laughs> anyway, I was I mean, about. To... It's so weird. Mm -hmm. Good. I was just about to say. I, I will agree with you for the most part. That being said, I feel like Knuckles's camp, the the story with Knuckles, uh, however little advantage they take of it, is probably my favorite part of this campaign. Because if you take that aside, again, maybe it's because I played Adventure Two first before this, and even in spite of the problems with that stage, with those stages. I feel like I do still kind of prefer SD2's version, like, even if the radar is busted, I feel like the levels themselves are just more interesting as opposed to here, where it's just, hey, let's just take off, like, chunks of Sonic's levels and just slap Knuckles onto them. It's just not really that interesting to me. I mean, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world, but I do think it's just a bypro like a byproduct of how the sections Knuckles does get to travel, like, travel around and to get the Emerald pieces are very content, like, very contained. Borderline claustrophobic, honestly. But, I mean, that's that's all I'll really say on the matter. I think his campaign's fine, but definitely not the thing that, like, you know, it's not the defining thing that me, keep, keeps me coming back to this uh, series. Or this game, rather. It's not what you play Sonic for. It's not what I play this game primarily for, but it is a nice uh, distraction, if nothing else. It's a nice yeah. little take on, like... It's... it's or, Okay, distraction is kind of... Distraction is kind of a very dumb word. Not a, It's kind of a unsavory word to describe it. I'd say it's a good add-on, as opposed to, like, just straight-up fluff. Like, it feels like it does... Uh, there's more There's more new to it, so I think it's a good, like... Would you say just a good... It night? feels like it's adding on to it natively than feeling like unnecessary fluff. Though, right. speaking of unnecessary fluff, uh, we'll see you all next time as we go... 
starting on the other side of the uh, Sonic Adventure spectrum with Amy Rose. Oh, boy. <laughs> we'll see you all next time. Fuck. Bye. Oh, dear God. Time to shoot a bitch.